Hello, this is Dr. Jay Hartley at the Hartley Chiropractic and Scoliosis Center in St. Augustine, Florida. And today we're doing a follow-up on the bucket handle effect video. And it's been very popular, especially among chiropractic students. And so what we talked about in video number one was if the person has a scoliosis, you don't want to push down on the thoracic spine because it'll make the curve go further to the right. So the way we described it is if the curve is already to the right, if we push down, it's going to make the curve get worse. So that's called the bucket handle effect. You don't want to push P to A on the thoracic spine, but it can be very beneficial in the cervical and in the lumbar spine. So when we look at the spine from the side, you should have a forward curve in the neck. If there is a curvature to the side, and you do a PDA adjustment, it brings that center point of the curve closer to the midline of the body. So the apex of the curve is actually reduced. So if you have a cervical thoracic curve, PDA adjusting in the lower cervicals is going to help. So the, exam the example of this would be here, okay? If the curve is to the right and we push straight down, it's gonna bring the spine to the middle. So that's gonna reduce the cob angle down. If we did the same thing in the lumbar, you should have a forward lumbar curve. And let's say you have, most typically people have a left lumbar curve. So if the curve is to the left, and then you come in L3 and go P to A, then you're gonna bring that apex to the midline as you bring that lumbar lordosis in, okay? So if we do this as an example of the lumbar spine, we've got the lumbar spine, the scoliosis is to the left, left apex. We do a PDA adjustment. It actually helps to improve the A to P alignment. So this has been Dr. Jay Hartley, Hartley Chiropractic Scoliosis Center in St. Augustine, Florida. And you go make yourself a great day.